Hello everyone, this is uh, Antonio from uh, the Random Stuff channel and uh, this video I wanted to make for Firefox which is my preferred browser. I do use other browsers such as um, Maxton and uh, the popular Chrome um, including the old uh, Internet Explorer when, when, when need to and uh, but I still get, uh, always come back to Firefox and uh, for many years I've, uh, I've used Firefox not realizing that since version 42 of Firefox, if I just look at this version now, um, go to the menu. Um, actually, I don't do it through this, so I just hit the Alt tab. And if you do about Firefox, you can see this is version 53, which is up to date, but it is a 32 bit. And you know, I've never thought about this uh, until I came across it the other day in the office uh, with a colleague. Um, yeah, I, was, I was complaining that um, basically on a you know, super fast machine that I have with um, 32 gig of RAM uh, or one of the latest laptops that I use, um, Firefox was, it was getting a little bit laggy sometimes. Uh, I do have lots and lots of uh, tabs, sometimes in excess of 50 tabs, and um, it was consuming over uh, 2 to 3 gig of RAM uh, constantly. So my colleague uh, suggested and uh, I thought to look into it and uh, he was actually right to um, uh, try the 64-bit version. So if I if I, I just googled the benefits uh, of Firefox 64-bit and there's lots of uh, different documents that you can uh, read. I've looked at a few. I'll post them in the description below to allow you to read them. But essentially this was one of the one, uh, ones that I read. Um, you know when it's time to make the switch essentially the reason as they say here is because of the RAM uh, more RAM becomes available uh, per process that Firefox uses and also the security benefits if it's written in 64-bit um, it does give more security for the implications of all this you'd have to read the whole documentation it does go everyone um, there are lots of documents on this online. Uh, this one is a pretty good one uh, on GHacks. Shows you how to check, uh, tells you to back up your folder um, and also how to do the upgrade. Essentially for me, it was very simple. I didn't want to lose my tabs and I didn't want to lose my bookmarks, which I use for work. But it was actually quite clear that if I uninstalled Firefox from the machine, it did. if I did a normal uninstall through the with the actual Windows options of uh, remove programs without using third-party applications to uninstall, removing registry keys and leftover folders. I was able to install 64-bit and also um, re retain all my tabs. And as you can see here, I've got lots of tabs on the top there. And this particular version on this machine that I'm using now is 32 bits. And to see how we update this, when you, uh, also, there was this other document here uh, talking about the performance of uh, the 64-bit compared to 32-bit. And as I say, it's since version 42, as you can see here, that there's been an official 64-bit. Now, you know, it, you just get in a routine of uh, updating when the latest one comes out. And I've always been updating regularly. I've always had the latest version of Firefox, but I've always kept the, the, the actual uh, line, lineage of 32-bit. Um, and since I've installed 64-bit, in my experience, it's working a lot better uh, when I when I navigate through my many, many, many tabs. So I wanted to make this uh, video just to uh, you know remind anybody else who might see this that if they are on a 64-bit machine, they might consider downloading uh, this version. If you go to the Mozilla uh, webpage, so Mozilla.org. You come to this main page and if you if you are to click on click here or if you allow it to download it will automatically download the 32-bit version even if you have 64-bit machine for some reason it's not clever enough to pick that up so what you do is you need to go down the bottom here and you need to do download the file uh, firefox web browser so you click on that and then you get this uh, similar page uh, and it's telling you that you're using the latest version which i know but it's not the right version so what i'm going to do is download Firefox for other platforms and languages. So I'm going to go for the Windows 64 bit in my case. And later I'll have to do it for my Linux machine as well. So I'm going to download 
as you can see I've got all my tabs at the top okay so that seems to have uh, downloaded uh, quite well so now um, if I if I run the executable file all that will happen is is that it will install 64 bit side by side at least that's what I've uh, read in the documents and let me just launch it and see what what it says so um, now this is I'm going to cancel that because Another link to download uh, Firefox is uh, the following here, which I'm going to also put um, in, in the description. And as you can see, you can choose your version and language. Now, what I was trying to show you was that um, once you've downloaded the file, as I have, as you can see here, the 53.02, the way you switch from 32 to 64 bit is explained in this page. This is what I did because I didn't want to lose everything. And as you can clearly see, what Firefox uh, on on their main page, they say that your passwords, bookmarks, settings, extensions, and themes will not be removed once you remove version uh, 32 bit. Now, uh, as you can see, the 64 bit Firefox requires the version to be on the right machine, as we mentioned before. Uh, you've got to uh, make sure that you have these minimum requirements here. 64-bit uh, Firefox only supports Adobe Flash and Microsoft Silverlight. So the point here is is that uh, you can, you know, quite uh, safely delete it uh, if you do it the proper way. So the time to do it is you go to Windows Start menu, click on Settings, Open System Panel, and then you, you then select Apps and Features tab. So I'll uh, I'll close it down first. Okay, so now that uh, Firefox has been uh, uninstalled and it's no longer on my machine, I can uh, go into my downloads folder and I, I will run it as administrator. Let's close that off. And um, let's go next. We'll go, we can go for custom um, and there's only a couple of options. Actually, I'll show you what custom does. Um, it just asks you whether you want to install the maintenance service, which I I will, and then on my desktop and in my start menu. Yeah, install. That's it. That's all it does. So I'm going to launch it now. I will have to sign into my account to do the syncing again. But as you can see, it's just opened the same with the tabs that I had before. Well, they're not exactly the same because I didn't save the session, but it's um, it's got all the previous ones that I had um, before I started searching for documents um, to share on making the upgrade from 32-bit to 64-bit. So now if I click on the Alt tab and go to help about Firefox, you see I'm on 64-bit uh, version. Okay, so it's as simple as that, and at least now you're on a 64-bit machine, you know that you're running the most optimized and also the most secure uh, browser um, for Firefox. Okay, so um, I hope this has helped anybody out there who's thinking or wasn't aware and now will try and do the upgrade to 64-bit, and um, hope it's helped. Until the next one, take care. Cheers. Bye.